Hey everybody, Anne here, and you know what? I look like crap, I don't even care. I've had a really, really weird day today. I'm out and about doing my job. Of course, my dog's with me. Um, and whenever I leave, whenever I leave the van, she goes through severe anxiety. You know, she's got this high-pitched bark and whatnot. So, I was parked in this one place. I'd actually, I was done for the day. And, um, I went in to get a couple groceries. I wasn't in there for 10 minutes. And um, I have two two little fans that run, um, like point different directions. Um, windows were open, and I've got a little mini air conditioner that I turn on for when I'm out of the van and if it's like late in the day and it's kind of getting warm and whatnot. Um, it's really not that warm right now, um, but anyhow. So of course, I'm, all the doors were locked, and so. I did my shopping, came back, went driving around, went somewhere else, um, and then I went to get dog food, and where I keep the dog food is in a little ottoman that's in between the two seats in the front seat of the van, um, and I put blankets over it, and, you know, Betty sleeps on it and whatnot, so, um, I went to put the new dog food in there, and there was a note in there. The note said, um... God, I should just get it and read from it. Well, I'm just going to paraphrase. The note said, You have been warm. Two people have made note of your hot dog in the car. The car, the dog was not hot. The van was not hot. Okay? The, it was perfectly comfortable back here. She just barks because she gets upset when um, I'm not in the van. So, they're like, she was like, um, I've called the blah blah police and they have your license plate number. Um, so, she, somebody had to get into this van with a pit bull in it, get in between the two front seats, lift the blankets up, lift the, the lid of the ottoman up, and stick that note in there, okay? So, they had to find a way into the van. They either, uh, you know, got in through the, the, um, because all the, all the doors were locked. I always lock my doors because I had an envelope. I had an envelope in the center console thingy. It's not really a console. It's just a little thing that holds a bunch of junk. Um, I had an envelope in there with $100 in it. I mean, I left it there not thinking that anybody would come in with a pit bull in the vehicle. But uh, guess what? Somebody came in to the van with the pit bull in it. And they must have seen the envelope there when they went to lift up the ottoman. The envelope is gone. The money is gone. So, I know it was a female. It's a female, and um, so I went ahead and called the police department that they said that they called. And they said that there was a report, um, it was an anonymous phone call, um, the police, you know, you were gone by the time they got there, because, I mean, I was only in the store for about 10-15 minutes. Um, they didn't leave a name, they refused to leave a number, blah, blah, blah. Um, but they said that this was the wrong jurisdiction, so they transferred her to the right place, because she had called the wrong police department. So, um, they transferred me to the right police department, and I just talked to a very nice officer. I explained, you know, I am a blah, 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 and I sleep in my van. Um, <coughs> my dog is with me all the time. I told him my name. I gave him my, all my information. Of course, they had my license plate already. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I told him the dog's name, so if they ever get a call again, because I go to that area a lot to do business, um... I explained to them that there was an envelope missing, you know, and why would they stick around? Of course they're going to be anonymous if they're going to steal from me. I just cannot believe that somebody would be so bold to get into a van with a pit bull in it. Now, Betty, she's very sweet. Okay, she she loves people. She'll just look all over your face. But but to do that, you know, it's not the money doesn't matter. The money was actually going to go to somebody else who needed it. So, I mean, I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I mean, I shouldn't have left it there. Who would have thought? Seriously, who, who would have thought? Um, it was just so weird. And so, you know, after I went shopping there and before, oh my God, look at my face, I'm so tired. Um, before, <laughs> before I had recognized uh, that um, the note was in the little thing, I stopped at another store nearby. And um, there was this young guy. You know what, I think he was trying to rob me. I think he was trying to rob me because he was young, he's good looking, he's probably about 25 years old, tops. He ran into me, kind of bumped my backside, okay? 
and it was weird it was just really weird and I said oh too bad it wasn't a hot chick and he says hey you know and he said it in a weird voice kind of like hey you look pretty good to me and I'm like oh my god you know what two two guys in a month's time that are way too young for me and I'm like I'm like oh shoot you know that's you know oh, I'm like ah ha ha I laughed it off and I started walking away and then he kind of like turned around and he says you know what as a matter of fact you wanna and I'm like nope I nope 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 that one very quickly but I don't really think he was interested in me I think he was interested in robbing me you know I got my gray hair going on and whatnot you know I'm 54 years old but the gray hair probably makes me look a lot older especially when I wear my glasses see I got my glasses I look like Mrs. Beasley do I look like Mrs. Beasley <laughs> but uh, I can't you know have it on when I got things close up to my face because it gets all blurry and that's what happens when you get old but you know what I don't know what it is I don't, I, he couldn't have been really truthfully, you know, when I'm, I'm standing there in store and I'm like, no, no, you're, you're, you know, you're younger than my son, you know, um, and he's like, I don't care, I don't want, he goes, I don't want, I won't tell anybody in like a, a weird sexy voice, and it was like, oh my god, it got me creeped out, I, I had to leave the store, I didn't even buy what I was gonna buy, um, I didn't need it anyhow, so, uh, my god, look at me. I'm so, I'm so gray. <sighs> I can't wait till my hair grows out. Yeah, I can't wait. But it's just weird. So it, it's been a weird, weird day for me today. Um, and you know, Betty, she, I got to do something about this separation anxiety, or I'm gonna have to d get a dog sitter when I'm working during the day, because it's just stressing me out. And the fact that she was barking would probably, you know, caught the attention of a, of a couple people. One of them being a thief. Um, but anyhow, so I'm going to meet with this officer when I'm back in that area on Friday. I'm going to give him the note, and um, they are going to try and find out who this person is. Um, even though um, they called from a block number, well, the police can get that number, just so you know. The police can get that number from you. So even if you call the police and it's from a, you know, you block your number, the police still have access to that number so I told them absolutely I do want to press charges I want to find out who this person is and I want my money back not that I need it well yeah yeah in fact I do need it I do need the money um, because somebody else needed it and um, I was trying to help somebody out anyhow so that's been my day today <laughs> oh god I don't know what else to say Betty, Betty girl we are going to have we are going to have to figure out what to do with you. Anyhow, that's all I got for you for today. Y'all have a good end.